Here we're basically going to work through a short quiz just to see if you can uh, determine the difference between a separable differential equation and one that's not separable. So all of these are, are first order differential equations. Um, so if you want to pause the video, you can try to work these three out and see if you can write it as dy dx equals a function of x times a function of y, and that's the definition of separable. Uh, right now they're clearly not written that way, but the idea is can we write them that way? So here we go, let's start with number one. Uh, is this guy separable? e to the x plus y. Granted we do see a plus, and they're both in the exponent, which is a little weird. So can we write that as a function of x times a function of y? Uh, the answer to this one is actually yes. Yes, we, we actually can do that, and he, here's how. Um, just using a basic property of exponents, um, you could write this like you know e to the a plus b is equivalent to e to the a times e to the b. And so we could rewrite this as dy dx equals e to the x times e to the y, where this is a function of x and this is a function of y. And so we did it. That's, that's really all you have to do to show that it's separable. Now, uh, beyond this, if you wanted to solve this differential equation, we would go ahead and, and do separation of variables where we put the x's on the right hand side and then move the y's to the left hand side and that sort of thing and integrate both sides. We're not going to do all that in this video. In this video we're, we're just doing the bare basics of just determining if a differential equation is separable or not. That's all. So this guy is separable and so we'll, we'll move on. Okay, how about this guy? x squared y prime minus 5 equals 0. This one's a little tricky. Uh, it turns out this one is yes as well. This is separable. Uh, how do we see that? Well, let's uh, write this as uh, x squared. Uh, we'll write y prime if it helps as dy dx. Not that we have to do that. It's fine as y prime, but uh, we'll write it as dy dx. Uh, let's move the 5 to the right-hand side. Okay. Um, let's divide both sides by x squared. And so we have dy dx uh, equals five over x squared. And so the question is, is does this count as being separable? And I claim that it does. And he, here's my justification for that. Um, this is clearly a function of x, no doubt. That, that's pretty obvious. But what about the function of y? Somebody would say, well, Devin, there's, there's nobody here that's a function of y. What, you know, how can you say that this is separable? Well, uh, what's understood to be here is obviously a one. I think everybody would agree with that. And so the question is, is simply, can you have a constant um, be equal to a function of y? And of course we can, we, we do it all the time. You know, if I were to say just in some, some you know, uh, beginning algebra class, you know, f of x equals five, you know, uh, or six or seven, would anybody look at me funny? No, that's perfectly fine as a function. Um, being a function of x simply means that you can't have any other variables. You can't have any y's or z's or q's or whatever. But uh, 5 could easily be a function of x, just like 1 could be a function of y. And so um, technically this is my g of y or q of y or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and so in fact this is uh, separable. Okay, very good, very good. All right, moving on, last one. Uh, how about this guy? Is he separable? He seems pretty simple. It does, doesn't really seem like there's a whole lot to this guy. You kind of have a function of x and a function of y kind of already separated in a way, kind of, sort of. Turns out this is actually not separable. This, this, is, a, this is a no. Now, why? Well, b basically because this is addition and not a product. And so that, that's really the key thing. Um, you can test me on this. You can rewrite it however you think you can rewrite it. You will never be able to write this as a function of x times a function of y, which is the, the definition of, of separable. Now, where does this fall apart? Now, we're kind of getting a little off topic here, but where does this fall apart uh, if you wanted to try to solve this differential equation as far as being separable goes? Well, um, somebody looking ahead might say, well, well Devin, the, really the ultimate idea of being separable was that you could separate the X's and the Y's. And, and that's certainly true. 
And notice what happens if you, um, let's say, try to subtract 2y to the left. So minus 2y uh, plus dy dx uh, equals x. So we're, we're trying to separate the y's on the left and the x's on the right. And But the next step is where we fall apart. If you tried to multiply both sides by dx, sure, you would get a dx on this side, but you would just create a new dx inside of this term or beside this term. And so uh, ultimately, you, you would never be able to separate x's on one side and y's on the other. And so we could have seen that 10 steps earlier if we just noticed right off the bat, this could not be written as a function of x times a function of y. That was really the the, the root cause of why we failed there. So this, this is a no. So um, ho hopefully that helps you understand a little bit better what the, uh, what separable means. Now again, I'll reiterate, we didn't solve any of these differential equations, but knowing if a differential equation is separable or not is the first step into uh, for being able to solve a first order separable differential equation.